case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1990 Delaware Supreme Court case, Centaur Partners, I4V National Intergroup Inc., a legal dispute arose over amending National's bylaws related to the board of directors. Centaur, an investment partnership owning 16.53% of National's common stock, sought to change the bylaws to fix the number of directors at 15 and prevent the board from amending it without an 80% vote. The key issue was whether this amendment conflicted with National's charter, which granted the board the authority to fix and alter the number of directors. Both the charter and bylaws required an 80% supermajority vote to amend provisions related to the composition of the board of directors. The Court of Chancery ultimately affirmed that an 80% supermajority vote was necessary to amend National's bylaws, overruling the presumption of majority rule. On appeal, the Delaware Supreme Court held that Centaur's proposed bylaw amendment was invalid, as it conflicted with Article 8 of the Articles of Incorporation, which granted the board authority to fix and alter the number of directors. The court also affirmed that the 80% supermajority vote requirement applied to the entirety of Section 16, not just similar provisions, as argued by Centaur. This decision highlighted the importance of adhering to a company's founding documents and the potential influence of supermajority provisions on the balance of power between majority and minority shareholders. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.